All right, so I know that I spoke about um, just the fact that I kind of took the scenic route to PA school. And so I'd already graduated with my bachelor's and I had to retake all of these courses because they were kind of old because I was already like making a life for myself um, outside of schooling. Uh, and so I took some time between graduation from undergrad to now applying to PA school before I got in. And so the question was posed like, you know, what happens? Like, are you able to really take all those courses at a community college? And so that is what we're going to be answering in today's video. What's up you guys, it's Adana, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, comment on, the, on these videos, um, and like my video, you guys, because it really helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot, okay? So I have this question from Leslie Zuniga, and it says, Hey Adana, so I understand you retook all these science courses. I just graduated from a four-year university, and they don't let me retake my courses unless I fail them. That was my university as well. Did you retake these classes at a community college? Do they count for PA school if they're refined at a community college? I know GPA only changes on your transcript if they're done at the university because my community college only gives you credit when you pass a class, not really the grade. Okay, so I mean, your situation is a little bit different than mine because my community colleges, because I went to literally all of the community colleges in my little area of the world, um, which was four community colleges in the area. So I took courses at four different community colleges because mm -hmm. I needed to get them done right then and there, okay? So I wanted to ensure that I had the opportunity to go to as many schools as I could during the summer slash spring sessions of and winter sessions of these various different community colleges. I was able to do that because again, I was already graduated from my undergraduate degree um, and I was working as like a waitress. So my hours were like pretty, pretty, lax like I could ask for a morning shift or an evening shift depending on when my classes were and uh, my manager was really really good at working with me on that and I still had time to like be with my kids and my family right so because I was a new mom at that time so with that being said um, yes I did take all of my classes at a community college and they all counted for credit um, and grades. Uh, I got A's in all of those classes which significantly boosted my science GPA um, and my overall GPA as well which allowed me to then open up my scope for the amount of schools that I was able to apply to in the future. If your particular community college in your area, if you only have one, um, only gives you like credit and not necessarily a grade, then you're gonna have to go to another one, right? You're gonna have to try to find another one. Um, if there's another one in your area, try to look for that. If there is not another one in your area, um, you need to kind of call these schools and see if they will take online um, credit, online schooling. I know a lot of these programs, um, like your undergraduate programs, are opening back up uh, because, you know, COVID is kind of like taking a, a different turn. And so there's, a with the vaccine and everything, so there is a lot of schools that are opening back up for like full in-person classes. Um, so maybe they may not accept online schooling any longer, but you can ask and see if that's an, an, a possibility because if it is, then you can apply to, you know, four-year seeking colleges in your area or not in your area that offers the classes that you're interested in, and then you can take them online. So those, I think, are your options, but honestly, really and truly, I think if you find a community college that will give you credit, um, because there are classes for students that need to take classes, but they're not seeking a college degree, okay? So you want the credit, but you're not seeking a degree. You're, you want the grade, um, but you're not seeking a college degree. And those are the classes that I took and I got A's and they counted and it was fine. Okay, so just clarify that with the registrar of the various different community colleges in your area and clarify it also with respect to the schools that you're trying to apply to in terms of the, do they accept online schooling as well. And if they do, then you're fine and you'll be okay and you can make the best decision on whatever school you want to apply to and go and attend, okay? 
All right, so thank you, Leslie, so much for that question. Um, I think a lot of people have similar questions like that, and so uh, hopefully this helps answer you guys' questions and gives you a little bit more insight on kind of what to do moving forward when you're applying to PA school and you really don't have the answer. You can always come to my channel because you have subscribed to my channel and you've liked my videos um, to help my YouTube algorithm. Or you can also, also always, of course, really honest and true right now, you can always go contact the schools directly and see what they are saying, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at it on the PA and on Instagram I get that's the university. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!